Hello everybody and welcome to hole number one, part four of uh, the Chateau Lavande in the Spring Major Tournament here in Golf Clash the game. Video sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. Make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. You can get the ultimate tournament guides for Pro, Expert or Master Division by becoming a Patreon. And going to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link is in the description down below. So, let's take a look and we're going to start by using a driver that gives us 6 bars of topspin. It doesn't have to be the Apocalypse level 6, it can be Apocalypse level 3 plus, extra mile level 8. It can also be the Thor's Hammer level 5 plus, so you do have multiplied drivers to choose between. We're aiming to be a little bit more to the right of the fairway when the wind is left to right. And if we have wind coming right to left, we aim a little bit more... Uh, left of the fairway instead maximum distance plus 10 and we go with half a ball of curl to the left the important part here now with this shot is that we do have the ball coming in on the left side because if we do come in too far to the right you can see how much it slopes from left to right here that the ball takes its turn out to the right that if we are too far to the right on that far away we will roll into the rough on the right and then that is going to obviously make the eagle attempt much tougher second shot you have an option here as always one you can play with your wedge or two you can play with your short iron if you have a short drive and play for minimum distance or three then we go for a dunk and when i'm in a situation like this i'm going to go for a dunk and the thing that i will be using here is from this range i play minimum distance no elevation and making sure that i aim at the back end of the cup that is super duper important because if you don't aim at the back end of the cup then you will most likely fall short. As said, no elevation, minimum distance, numbers, and then try to hit. Perfect. Once again, if you're going to play a different way, then that will be a different adjustment. Because if you're playing with a wedge or a short iron, you will have to play either 10 or 20% elevation, depending on what wind angle we're going to have. Because the, what the dunk does is that it obviously takes away the effect from the wind after the first bounce. Why? It's because there is no first bounce with the dunk. And that's why the dunk could, in some cases, be much more easier to get to drop than having to bounce a couple of times towards the pin. Hole number one offers a good opportunity, in my opinion. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. Make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications. Ultimate tournament guides on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. Once again, thank you for watching, and good luck in your Golf Clash game.